You are welcome to another video of the course network automation and service orchestration using Cisco NSO. In this section, we will discuss how to install Cisco NSO version 6, the latest version on Ubuntu 24. To install Cisco NSO, I have already installed an Ubuntu client machine with the version 22.4. Let's check it the version cat slash etc lsb release. You see the version of my Ubuntu is 22.4 and 2 LTS version. This is the main Cisco documentation link to get and install Cisco NSO software. As a prerequisite, we need Java, Apache Ant, Python 3 and development tools which must be installed on a Linux or Mac OS system. Direct installation on Windows currently not possible. There are two types of installation, system install for a centralized and always on production environment and local install which is used for evaluation and lab environment. Cisco official documentation provides the detail on both methods how to install. However, in this section we will install the local version of this software. I have already prepared a step-by-step -step documentation in GitHub Asset Pool, DevNet, Cisco NSO, and then install NSO. How to install Cisco NSO version 6 on Ubuntu version 22.4. As the first step, we install the prerequisite. I've already installed the prerequisite, but just to check, we can make it sure that it is already correctly installed. As you see, the all prerequisites are already installed, but just to make sure, we check it again. Then, in the next step, we have to download the software and some free uh, drivers, network element driver or NED from Cisco website. The latest version is version 6.0 and in addition to Cisco Network Service Orchestration Linux installer, which is this file, we are allowed to download the free drivers for Cisco ASA, for iOS, for iOS XR and NX OS. My uh, Cisco account is a normal account and not a special account, but I could download the software and NED from the Cisco website. I've already downloaded all files and copied into the Ubuntu machine. We can check it here in Cisco NSO folder. This is the ASA driver, iOS driver, iOS XE driver, NXOS driver, and NSO Linux installer. Before proceeding with the installation, I need to explain the folder names that I will be using in my installation. Of course, you can use your own favorite names. I will use the folder Cisco NSO for storing the downloaded packages as you have already seen. I will use the folder NSO6 as an installation directory. In other words, the NSO will be installed in this folder. With installing NSO, actually it does not start and you have just prepared it to run the software. For running of the Cisco NSO, you have to run an instance of Cisco NSO, different instance of NSO can be run for different lab environment. We will create and run an instance of NSO in a folder with the name of NSO instance. This folder is actually the running instance of the NSO which can be 
customized for each lab environment for each instance of NSO only the required NED or drivers and service packages will be loaded in the next step we can verify the certificate and extract the installer file using sh command we ignore certificate verification and just extract the binary installer file let's check it in the folder cisco nso cd cisco nso and then paste unpacking and then again ls a new binary file with the name of nso6 nso6 installer will be created which will be used to install the software then we create a folder with the name of nso6 in home directory as we already discussed then we install the local version of nso using sh command and the local install parameter in nso6 folder let's check it first we create the directory paste and then we install cd nso cisco nso and then paste now a new folder in the home directory with the name of nso6 is created in the in this folder there is a another folder with the name of packages and inside the folder packages there is another folder with the name of neds which contains some free nso drivers for cisco ios ios xr asa nxos juniper and a10 device types however we are going to add the new downloaded drivers into the packages which has the newer version of ios ios xr nxos and asa software for that we extract downloaded ned drivers using sh commands drivers with the format of .tar.gz will be created and then we will unzip and we will open the archive and add these new drivers into existing NED drivers in the installed directory NSO6 package and then NED let's check it together in the folder cisco nso make sure we are there in home directory and then extract the drivers the second drivers with ignoring certificate validation And the last driver related to iOS XR. And then if we check inside the folder, you see there are some new .tar.gz files which will be open and unzip in the NED folders in the install directory. For that, we go to the drivers folders and then we will install these new 
drivers. The second paste, the third and the last one, the new drivers will be added to the list of drivers in NSO install folder. If we check, we had already Cisco IOS 6 driver, but the new version is added to the drivers, or this is also true for the iOS, a new version, version 6 is added. For the iOS XR version 7, for the ASA, it was already 6.16, already 6.6, but now it is 6.16, and for the NXOS, the version uh, was already 3, but now it is 5.23. Now NSO software is installed, but still not started. Before starting an instance of Cisco NSO, we have to set up the environment variable in the install directory of NSO 6. There is a, a bash script with the name of ls with the name of ncsrc we set up the environment variable if we check this is to set up the environment variable therefore we need to source this file before running an instance of cisco nso with the command source and the name of the bash script we set up the environment variable then we create the folder NSO instance as we discussed which will be used to keep the running instance of the Cisco NSO. Then we run the instance of NSO with NCS setup command. We only load the required packages and drivers that we need in the lab environment with package parameter. The NSO instance folder will be chosen as destination folder with dash dash destination parameter let's run it to run uh, an instance of cisco nso and now there is a running instance of nso in the folder nso instance here is the running version of the Cisco NSO. Now an instance of Cisco NSO is created. To run, we have to go inside the NSO instance directory and run the command ncs. As you see, to run the NSO, we use the command ncs, which is the old name of the NSO, the name of the software has changed but still the commands are started with the old name we have to wait for a few minutes to make sure that nso is running we can use the command ncs status grep status it is expected that in the output shows if the nso instance is running correctly or not but we have to wait until the ncs instance is completely started now ncs is running we run the command ncs status to make sure it's running correctly a status started and we can also connect to the gui and web version of nso software with the port number 8080 to 101 and then 8080 and with the username admin and password admin default username and password now we are connected to the GUI or web version of Cisco NSO at least with that we make sure that the NSO is running correctly with the command NCS CLI 
we can connect to the NSO CLI environment. Now we are there. There are two options for the CLI environment. Here. With dash C, we connect to the Cisco XR style. And with dash J, we connect to the Juniper style of uh, NSO CLI environment. You can choose whichever is more convenient for you. We will use both Cisco CLI style during the course. Therefore, with the NCSCLI dash CU admin, user admin, I will connect to the CLI environment of the Cisco NSO. In the NSO CLI environment, with the command, for example, show NCS state version, you can check the version of NSO which is installed in your system and with the command show packages, package and then package version, you can check the NED drivers that are loaded in the current NSO instance, ASA, iOS, XR and NSO and also uh, Juniper. To add one important point, when you run NCS CLI command in a new bash environment, here again in NSO instance, you get the message that the command is not found. Let's check it with the command NCS CLI, copy and then paste. You receive the message that the command not found. To solve the problem, you have to again set up NSO environment variable with ncsrc command. And then you, you will be able to run again the NSO CLI environment. For that, I will use again the source command in the new bash environment. And again, I will run the NSO CLI environment. You see, this time there is no error message. The next step is to connect the NSO software with your physical or virtual devices, but probably you don't have any devices to connect NSO to them. We have the option to use the devices in NetSIM simulator, which is embedded in NSO software. This will be discussed in the next section.